All right, so I have let my tape dry on the box and I've gone ahead and distressed all my edges. So I've distressed the top, and then I flipped it over and I did the side, and I flipped it over to the bottom, the other side, and the back. So all of my edges are now distressed and I'm going to make the two smaller drawers my top and the larger drawer on the bottom. So this is going to be the top of my box. And I am using some paper from this scrapbooking. It's Vintage Memories. It's a DCW, DW, DCV, I don't even know how to, which way the letters go, um, scrapbooking paper. And I had two of these, so I had some left over. So I actually have um, four of these sheets of cards, um, scrapbooking. And this is more the cardstock type scrapbooking. It's not paper, it's actually cardstock. Um, this was double-sided, but I'm not going to be using both sides. So now what we do is you need probably, um, three pieces for sure to cover the box. And if you're going to use the same paper on the fronts of the drawers, then you'll probably need four sheets. So for example, the box that I did here, I have used this paper and I had four sheets of it. I'm just gonna flip it over. So I've done the whole outside of the box and the bottom, I just used a scrap piece of paper that I had left over. It doesn't even, it's not even a full sheet, but I just put an odd piece on the bottom. And then for the drawer fronts, I used the same paper that I had on the sides. So again, it's totally up to you what type of paper you're going to use, um, how you want to cover it, whether you want your drawers differently or whatever. But I'm just going to show you what I've decided to do. So we're going to start with the box first. And so what I'm going to need for the box top is 11 and a quarter by seven and a half. And that is going to be my top, that's not the top of the box. So there's my first piece. And again, I'm going to leave just a little bit of the edge of the tape showing because it's distressed. I like the look of that. And then this little pages are distressed, so it looks kind of nice. So that's my top piece. And then I'm going to need two side pieces, which will be six and a quarter by the seven and a half. So I need two of those. So I've gone ahead and cut those. So I'm going to have, and this one, um, the pad of paper has a little extra bit on the top where you normally cut that off. I didn't for this one because I needed that extra little bit of quarter inch. So I ha do have a little hole here. I'm just going to make sure that it's on that um, packing tape so you really won't notice it. I'm okay with that. So I have two sides that will go on the sides. So I have my top and my two sides. And then the back of the box. And again, your measurements will be different if you use a different size box. But all you're going to do is be cutting out your paper and you want to leave. So this is 11 and a quarter and my six and a quarter, which will be this piece here like that. So all I'm going to do, and let's start adding the paper. Um, you can, if you like, distress the edges of the scrapbooking paper as well. And for this one, it probably won't show up as much because it's pretty close to the same color as the box. So I'm just going to do it really quickly. And the only reason I do distress the edges is when you cut scrapbooking paper, if it has a white core, that white edge of the paper will show when you attach it to your packing tape. It will stand out a little bit more. So I normally just give a quick brush on the edges of the paper. Um, just, oops, just to get rid of that whiteness of the edge of the paper. Okay, and I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac, I think. Um, you can use the Elmer's glue all and roll it on, but I think that might take a little bit too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac because it's faster for purposes of this video. I can show you how I apply the glue 
the Elmer's Blue All if that's what you want to use. I will show you how I apply it as well. Maybe I'll show you on the bottom piece. Okay, so I got my Fabri-Tac on there. And I am going to add my piece of paper to the top of the box. And you want to make sure your corners are down. So you really want to push along those edges of your paper. And make sure your corners are really stuck down well. So there is the top of my box covered. Now let's do one of the sides. And you want, if your paper has a direction, you want to make sure you have the right direction. Your drawer is facing up the right way and your paper is also facing up the right way. Nothing like putting your drawers together and finding out you've got your paper on upside down. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that piece to the side. And again, you just want to move it around. That's why I like the Fabri-Tac. You can kind of move it around a little bit until you get it in place. To where you want it. There you go. So there's that side. And I'm going to add this side. And again, I'm just adding some glue. Right to the edges. You want to get right to those corners because you don't want your corners popping up. Down there. Okay. And we're going to glue this guy on. And make sure my piece of paper is straight. And sometimes your box might be a little wonky. And that's okay. As long as your drawers fit, you're okay. Um, so I know the one of the first boxes I made, one of the smaller drawers, they were a little uneven from stacking all the, the um, drawer pieces together um, and it became a little uneven and I just actually put it in my cutter and cut a little bit on an angle just to make it fit properly. So just make your paper fit the way you want it to. There you go. So that little piece there is... And I didn't distress the edges of this paper, and I should have. So I'm just going to do a quick run along the edge with my distressor. Like that. Okay. And I'll distress this edge. I also have a little brush that I can use as well. One of these little brushes. And I can just go along the edge and distress, but I'm really not too worried about it because you're not going to see that much of it. So there's my top, and my two sides are done. And I'm going to do the back piece. Let's flip it up. And that's going to go on there. So let's put him on. glue right to the edges. And you don't want to leave too many air, little air bubbles in there. You want to make sure you get lots of glue on there because um, you don't want the piece of cardstock popping up in one little spot. So you make sure you get a, not too many little blank spaces there. Okay, and then this one's going to go on here. the back of my box. There we go. Like that. Now if you get any little spots sticking up, and I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but see how this paper, my box has a little bit of a rounded edge. Once I um, get some stuff on there, I will actually just put some glue on the end of an awl or a little flat spatula, and I'll just wipe some of the glue into the hole that's sticking up there. And then you can just press it down. Like that. And then I'm actually going to just press it down on the table. 
Now for the bottom piece, I had some scraps left over from when I cut these pieces. I'm just pressing on that a little bit there. Okay, so this is my bottom. So that's my top, and that's my bottom. I had some leftover pieces, and I'm just cutting two pieces of the scrapbooking paper. And I think I'm just going to fit them onto the bottom of the box like that. And just use two scrap pieces. I'm not worried about because I'm not going to see the bottom of my box. It's actually going to be... Yeah, I'm going to do that one first. It's actually going to be um, the bottom, and it's going to be sitting on a shelf. So you really don't need to cover it with um, an important piece because you're really not going to see it. So I'll quickly just distress this edge here. Okay, so that's going to go up that way. Let's put this one on. Just using scrap pieces. Didn't want to waste a full sheet of cardstock. So that one's on. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this piece. I'm just going to distress the three edges. And then that piece is going to go on there, like that. place this guy on here. And I'm putting my hand inside, not pushing down on the box because this is the larger drawer and I don't want to cave the bottom of my box in there. So that is the box covered now with the paper. So next we're going to take our drawers and you have to decide what is going to be the front of your drawer. So I'm just going to dry fit them really quickly. That will be okay. And then the front of the drawer for this one I think is going to be this one. Yes. Okay so those are my three fronts. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm just going to check, I have some scraps here um, left over. I'm going to see if I can use those bits of scraps. So that one I can use perfectly for the front of my drawer. That's the top of one of the pieces. So let's measure that guy first. And my ruler is here. So we're going to need, it's about ten and a half by two and a half. I'm going to cut this piece here. And that's going to go on the front of my drawer, like that. Let me just see. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to distress the edges of these because I'm going to be pulling these in and out and using these quite a bit, so let's make them look proper, so we'll quickly distress the edges of the paper. Okay, so that's going to go on there. And again, we'll get right to those edges. I really want to make sure this is tacked down because I will be pour, pulling those drawers in and out. 
So I'm making these um, little drawers for my bookshelf that is in my studio. And I did post a picture of this drawer on Instagram and showed a picture of the drawer in the bookshelf. And I am actually going to move this to a long, now that I have two of them, I'm going to move it to a longer shelf so I can get two of them on the shelf together. So there's the front of my drawer. And we're gonna let that one stick and dry. And I'm just gonna set it inside the box for now. Now let's see if I can use these pieces. Hmm. I'd have to go sideways. I think I'm going to do that. I don't want to waste this piece of paper. Or you can do it um, with the... I think I might do that actually. My two drawer fronts will be the opposite side of the scrapbooking paper. So we're going to make it... It's just one eighth short of... Well, let's say five inches by three inches. So five inches by three inches. And that's going to go on that one like that. And I'll cut this other one. I'm just I'm going to make sure of the measurements. Move him aside. <clears throat> Yes, same, same measurements. Five by three. There we go. So those are the two fronts for the box. This is the drawers. And we'll just distress the edges. glued on. To the fronts of the drawers. Just the edges of it. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Let's put this one on. Okay, so that's the other drawer front. Now, that is our now the box covered with cardstock. There's my drawers and the sides of the box, the back of the box, and the bottom I've even done, but I've just used two pieces. So I didn't I used up my scraps. Next, what we're going to be doing is measuring and putting on our drawer pulls onto the fronts of the drawers. So we're going to be adding these three drawer pulls onto the front of our drawers. And that one goes that way. Like that. 